So today I'm gonna to be sharing a home office tour and I will also be showing you guys my YouTube setup. So exactly how I film my videos and what lights I use and all of that stuff. So come with me, come into my office. So my office and my workspace just kind of flow off of our living room. So I think it was just like a family room or a multi-purpose space of some kind, but I kind of just took it over for my business. Um, so there are no doors and there's not a ton of like sound privacy in here, but it works for now. Eventually one day I would love to have um, like a dedicated home office that has some doors and stuff like that for taking calls. Um, but it is a really big space. Um, so this half of the office is kind of my editing and computer workspace. And then this half of my office is where I film. And so we'll kind of look at that in a minute and I'll show you how I have it set up when I'm not filming versus when I am filming. Um, it's basically just like a little seating setup in front of a fireplace when I'm not filming. Okay, so let's start with this bookcase. I got this off of Amazon. I can definitely link it down below, um, but I just pared it down to like my absolute favorite books and um, I have old planners and journals and stuff for business that once you're done using them, I don't really know what to do with them, but I keep them kind of as just like journals or records of my business and what I've you know, created over the years. A diffuser for my essential oils and a plant. So I like to keep it pretty minimal in here. Um, and then I have my calendar here. This is a finished 2020 calendar, which I can link down below for you guys. And this is just a magnetic board that I got off Wayfair. And this is my set up for when I'm actually working. Um, this is set up for filming for podcast interviews or just doing coaching calls and things like that. Um, but this is a library desk. This is a vintage piece that um, my husband Felipe actually refinished for me a couple of years ago. And so this is where I work every day. And I'm still in the process of trying to figure out how to decorate this space. I wanna do different posters, like inspirational quotes or something maybe that I could even change out um, as I decide to you know, focus on new things or have a new inspirational quote. So if you have home design skills and you have any ideas of what I could put here, please leave me suggestions down below because I'm still trying to figure that out. So let me flip this around and show you this way. On this side of my office, I have lots of storage for gear. Um, these are some of my film cameras. And inside of here, it has all of like my styling stuff, um, files. Uh, basically everything that I have to run my business fits in here. And I'm still looking for a shelf to go above here that would hopefully ideally house most of my film cameras and um, like lots of the cameras that I've just collected that I don't actually use regularly. Um, but this has just been so helpful to get most of my gear, not all of it clearly, but most of my gear off of the ground and out of sight since this is kind of where we live and also where I work. I don't wanna to have to look at just the craziness and the gear all the time. Um, so this was, super helpful to get at. Um, in my other house, I actually had a closet where I could put my gear and kind of throw everything and get rid of the mess. But I obviously, I don't have that here since this is more of like a living room um, and there aren't any built-in shelves or anything like that. So this is amazing for storage. So then this is the other half of my office and this is where I do my filming for YouTube. And so this is my chair, those are my pillows, and this is, this is really the setup. And this is how I get good, even light, even when it's cloudy like today or when it's nighttime and I still need to film, that kind of thing. And so what I do is I just set the camera up here have a ring light in the middle, and then I put these two lights off to the side. Um, and I will link all of this down below, but um, these are super old, just like studio lights and a really simple, I think it's an 18 inch ring light, and it just produces a really nice, even lighting. Okay, so then when I film, this is where I sit. I usually have my scripts, my extra outfits, my coffee, my water, everything right here. And I kind of just roll through whatever videos I have planned. And I'll have the camera dead center here. And I think, yeah, that this is pretty much my setup. So I did clean up for this video. It's usually 
a lot more happening and going on as I'm sure is the same in your guys' offices too. Um, but I do try to keep a couple things on my desk all the time that I use for productivity. And one of them is this time cube. Um, this really helps me to get stuff done really quickly and stay on task. So essentially you just pick a time that you want to dedicate to a given subject or task. Um, so a lot of times I will set the timer for like five or 10 minutes and go through my email and I know that timer's going and it's blinking and it keeps me reminded that I just have five minutes to do email and I just take it as like a personal task to see how many emails I can get through in five minutes. Um, and so that's one way that I am able to get a lot more done really quickly. And then I always have a 90 day planner on my desk. So I'm a big fan of quarterly planning um, and I have worked with the Saver Beauty Planner for years and I just love the way that this is laid out. Um, so I always have my planner. I also have, um, of course, my CRM honey book for all my client work. Um, but this is just really great for like day-to-day -day tasks or like projects and meetings. I just like to have things written down physically. So if you're a physical planner person, give me a thumbs up. I cannot live without a planner. And then I always have my coffee or something to drink. I'm trying to think of anything else that should be in the video. I'll be like, oh yes, okay. And of course I have my 2003 printer, literally from like 2003, but it works. I don't print photos or anything crazy with it, but um, for my purposes of business, it does the job. Um, definitely had that in my childhood bedroom growing up and it's still working. And it's probably the only Canon piece of gear that I owned. <laughs> So this has been the tour of my office and how I set up for filming. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoy these more personal videos, behind the scenes videos, let me know what you'd like to see more of in the comment section below because I am going to be creating a little bit more personal stuff for this channel. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Okay, so my office actually just comes into just stay, just don't, don't, don't get it up. I got this. <laughs> My office. I got this. So today we're gonna be doing a home office tour as well as a YouTube setup. <laughs>